this is gonna be a quick video tomorrow is the dc slate or at least we're gonna get some announcements for a couple of dc movies in james gunn's brand new dc universe now dave Bautista actually released some comments recently saying that the dc universe will do a complete reboot it will start from scratch and it will have younger actors and you know what? I take this as a big W. I think this is what DC needs. I've said this for a while. If you're going to reboot, you got to reboot it all. Um, now, I don't know if Dave Bautista knows of the Suicide Squad. Like, I do wonder if that is what Gunn's going to do. Now, what I've said about James Gunn when it comes to Suicide Squad is I said, do not touch the Suicide Squad for now. Start off your D DC universe with the main characters, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. Introduce all the major parts of DC. And then later on, maybe after like a Justice League movie, you get a Suicide Squad movie. To me, one of the most baffling things of all time is the fact that we had a Suicide Squad movie before we ever even got a Justice League movie. That like that to me is insane to think of, you know, uh, but realistically, this is what I want. I hope this means every actor. Now, I've, I've also said. Hey, if you want to do Peacemaker, keep doing Peacemaker. Just say that it's in that universe and then keep doing everything. In this, like in this main DC universe, please. Like you don't even have to get a Peacemaker. Peacemaker is not like this beloved character that everyone wants. Like no, at the end of the day, Peacemaker serves in that universe. Or I don't know what exactly they're going to do. But I would love for there not to be like any previous old, like, like somebody else's work. Like I don't want, because we know we're going to get a new Superman right i don't want this new superman to walk in and then we have gal gadot's and wonder woman like to me that would just kind of you're going to contradict a lot of the audience because whether you want to deny it or not that wonder woman was heavily marketed for ben versus superman for his accent of justice League. everyone knows that wonder woman to partner up with ben affleck's batman uh henry cavill superman and realistically i i think it would just be better for everyone just to get a reboot you know uh, and I'm not saying like these characters that recently got movies like, again, Wonder Woman, that doesn't mean you have to do them now. I'm just saying that, hey, uh, you got to work your way up there. Like you can't you can't just ask people to start from scratch, but you still have some actors from the previous DC universe and you can still bring some of the actors back. Just they would have to be different roles. Um, now, I don't know uh, if Dave Bautista is saying like I do believe Dave Bautista to an extent because we've already seen that James Gunn does want younger actors. He does want a younger Superman. And we do know Dave Bautista is close to James Gunn, having worked on, on Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. And it does seem like Dave Bautista will be in the DC Universe, especially because Gunn has said that he will bring some of his actors into the DC Universe. But this is actually interesting comments. And realistically, we're not going to know until maybe tomorrow. Um, I do wonder what they're going to announce. I think at most they're only going to announce like three, four movies. I well, I think one of them obviously is going to be the Superman movie, which I'm so glad we're finally at a point where we can say that there will be a Superman movie uh, eventually. You know, I remember there was a time where we didn't know what was going to happen with Superman. It was always Batman, Batman, Batman. But hey, we got to get the Man of Steel back. We got to get the, the last son of Krypton the man of tomorrow we got to get him back on the big screen and to me i don't care what anyone says dc has been in a shithole since 2018 since 2017 actually and dc has had no direction has had no management and james gunn's finally you know hitting the gas pedal because i'm sorry under hamada he didn't do shit besides ignore the problem you know as a dc fan i love aquaman i like the birds of prey movie i like shazam you know, the movies that came out around that awkward time when Justice League came out until now, during that time period, Hamada did jack shit nothing. You know, I want a DC universe where the leader comes out and says, these main characters, they're not going to be in the sidelines. These are going to be the main guys you see. And we are going to have a coherent universe, right? Because remember, it used to be in the DC universe that people would like ask, you know, how does Birds of Prey even connect to like a movie like Man of Steel? How are they even in the same universe? All the tones were different. Everything was wacky. No one even knew if it was all shit fucking connected. Even Wonder Man 84 was starting to retcon things in the DCU. So I'm glad that James Gunn's stepping in because he is doing what every good leader does. I know to all those people mad at Gunn. Realistically, you should be more mad at the previous Warner Bros. You should be mad at Walter Mata. You should be mad at the people who fucked it up. Gunn had nothing to do with it. So if you're mad at Gunn, then I'm sorry. You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You cannot like his plan. Maybe tomorrow he releases some announcements and you don't like it. That's cool. That's all right. 
But to say right now that he is not the leader DC needs, I'm sorry, DC has not had a leader in in years, in years, or at least not a confident leader. And every leader needs some confidence. They need a bit of an ego. They need to show that, hey, I know better than everyone and build a universe. That's what Zack Snyder did. When Zack Snyder built his mini universe, guess what? He had the confidence, he had the ego, and he had the swag, right? Um, and to me, Zack Snyder did really well with what he got. To me, I still feel bad that Zack was dealt a shitty hand, but that's not James Gunn's fault. At the end of the day, blame the previous Warner Bros. regime, right? And not only that, but a lot of y'all were worshipping David Zaslav, saying that he was the hero that DC needs, but now he is doing actual things for DC. He got a leader. He got a leader to do whatever he wants. But the only problem is, you guys just don't happen to like this leader, right? Again, James Gunn haters are some of the weirdest motherfuckers out there. I don't care what you say. But anyways, y'all let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this. Sorry if it's a quick video. Uh, you know, this just quickly dropped and there's not much to say about it. But anyways, if you guys watch it, see y'all in the next one. Ciao. Cinderella.